<laughs> Hello and welcome to Storytime Sunday. Hey guys. Hope you had a great weekend. It is a winter wonderland at our house. It's yeah. been snowing all weekend. Yeah. I love the winter feeling. But you guys, mm -hmm. today we're going to kind of do something a little different. Yeah. We've had a lot of questions about this, so we thought we'd address it. We are going to give you our potty training tips and the methods we use to potty train our children because I know that they were all potty trained early. Dakota, 18 months, Carson, 20, and Canyon was like right before he was two. So I know they were all very early. And Kinley is starting to potty train herself. Completely on it's her own. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Completely on her own. So we want to answer a few questions, give you guys a few tips, and please, please don't feel like I'm being like, I'm the potty training professional because I know that's not true, but there's a few things that I feel like I'm pretty dang good at as a mom and potty training and sleep training are probably my top two things. Yeah. And it's great because I mean, who wants their kids in diapers? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anyone who likes to change diapers. So the sooner you can get them out of it, the better. Yeah. But my number one, my number one tip and thing that I want all parents to remember every kid is different every single kid is different so do not think that like so and so potty trained their kid at this age and i can't believe our kid's not potty trained every kid is so different and mm -hmm. it can you know a lot of things factor into when they actually are ready to potty train so don't be too hard on yourself but these are just some tips whenever your child starts showing interest and maybe some things to help them show interest in going yep. on the toilet for sure so with that Tip number with, one. With that, okay, I feel like this is a little unconventional. Maybe could even be a little controversial, but it works. It's tried and true now with our fourth kid. Have you guys ever heard the saying, monkey see, monkey do? <laughs> yep. Think about it. Your kids watch you use a fork, so they pick up how to use a fork to eat. They watch us do everything, how to draw, how to write, and they follow along. Put their shoes on, put their socks on, put their jacket on. So why would you not let them see how to go to the bathroom? And that, it doesn't have to be a weird, awkward thing or anything like that. Speaking especially for myself, I know when I have a little one-year-old who's just beginning to walk around, I don't go in the bathroom and shut the door and stay in there. Like, I have to be able to watch her and know where she's at and know where, what she's doing. So I leave the bathroom door wide open. She usually follows me and she'll just sit and talk to me. And then I make it kind of like a fun game. So <laughs> Kinley, this is kind of weird, but I'm sorry. This is so helpful in the potty Real training life, process. Yeah. Um, Kinley now, like after I'm done going to the bathroom, she'll come stand by the toilet and she'll say, bye pee, and she'll flush it and close the lid. So it's like just her watching those simple motions of like, oh, this is what I do. This is what this is for. It teaches them. She knows what the toilet's for. She knows where she's eventually gonna have to go to the bathroom. She's learning that you flush it, that you put the toilet seat down. It's just one of those things that if they see you do it, it's so much easier for them to learn. Yeah, and once they start like showing signs of, oh, I know what this is for, and then they start telling you, I need to go potty. Mm -hmm. Do I it. I think that is the time that you need to be like, okay. And yeah. then tip number two, the best thing I think that Kenzie is at potty training is consistency. When she starts, she it's like, okay, you're gonna be potty training this week mm -hmm. and you stick with it. You don't, okay, well, we gotta do this. Like you have to kind of make some time aside saying like, we're not really gonna go anywhere for a few days at least, mm -hmm. if not a week. And saying, I'm gonna, you're gonna wear big girl underwear or big yep. boy underwear. And that was the one mistake we made with Canyon. And I can fully 100% admittedly say that. Um, we were really busy when Canyon was two. And so just staying at home wasn't an option really. So what, it was confusing to him. It was underwear some days and then we have to run some errands so put a diaper on him so I wouldn't have to deal with a mess in the car. And that's just confusing to a kid. So like Cody said, stay consistent. Once you start, yeah. stay that course. If you put underwear on your kid, keep underwear on them and don't put a diaper on them again. Yeah, so that's where it's kind of on the parents to, to get it done. Yeah, and it's hard. It's really it hard. hard, which leads to my third tip. That week that you wanna hunker down and really like potty train your child, don't put pants on them. You're just creating more work for yourself as far as laundry goes. And especially if they have to go really fast and suddenly you don't want all these layers you have to pull off to set them on the toilet. So. For that whole week, they just wear a t-shirt in the underwear. Cuts back on laundry. It's a good tip. Yeah, it just makes things a lot easier and 
helps them learn a little quicker. That leads to my fourth tip. Let them pick out some fun underwear with you because if they pick out underwear that are fun and exciting to them, like a favorite character or something, they're gonna wanna wear them. Yep. They're excited to wear it. Yeah. Next tip is keep your child on the toilet for at least five minutes, even if they don't go. They're just learning. They don't know like the sensations to like just go to the bathroom. Push. So for some of our boys, this was a struggle. They didn't wanna just sit on the toilet. They were like, sit down and then like get off. Okay, I'm done, yeah. So what we would do, Cody and I, is we would either take a book in there, like a kid's book, and read them a book. We would sing so many songs, Patty Cake, Itsy Bitsy Spider. We would, I don't know, you just have to get creative to keep them on the toilet. And then make sure that you're mentioning it a few times. Like, do you have to pee? Or, you know, mention it as you're keeping them distracted there. Kinley's been the exact opposite of the boys. Because the boys <laughs> always, <loves> <laughs> the boys always wanted to get off the toilet where Kinley's just like, wants I'm to good. stay. And I'm like, are you done? No. She just wants to hang out there on the toilet. So that's something that really, really helps. So once you've decided today is the day I'm putting underwear on my child today, take them and physically set them on the toilet every 15 minutes. I would just set an alarm on my phone. They're not gonna go to the bathroom every time, obviously, but it's just that repetition, letting them know like, oh, if I need to go, I can sit on the toilet. And like I said, they haven't recognized those sensations and those urges yet. So if you just are consistently taking them, the likelihood of you catching them on the toilet when they actually have to go is a lot higher than just waiting for them to tell you that they have to go. Yep, and our final tip, what is it, number six? I don't know, a tip. Give them praise. Make it a huge yep. deal. Like, like you give them treats, you have your other kids be like, yeah! Like High fives, make them clapping, happy. cheering, like you're such a big girl! If they go successfully in the toilet, make it the biggest deal. Make it like they just graduated or like they won a huge yeah. prize. Like So they know that yeah. they did a good thing. This yeah. is great. So they're gonna wanna repeat that. Like mom and dad are so happy with me. Everyone's cheering for me. I'm gonna wanna do this again. So if you do get them to successfully go in the toilet, make it the biggest deal ever <laughs> because yeah. then they'll just wanna keep doing it. Yeah. So. There is our potty training tips for you today. Like we said, mouthful. we are not professionals, but we are about to start training our fourth kid. They've all ended. She's a professional. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but I had so many people tell me, especially with Dakota, because he was my first. Sorry, baby boy is a kicking. <laughs> <laughs> um, because he was my first and he was so young, he was seriously 18 months old, 100% done potty trained. People telling me like, you're crazy. He's gonna, way too young. he's gonna regress. He's way too young. He didn't. None of our kids have ever regressed. Once they're potty trained, they are potty trained. So I feel like as parents, we know our kids the best. So if we feel like they're ready, they're showing signs, they're telling you. That's the big thing. If they're telling yeah. you that they have to go to the bathroom, listen and take them. Don't push it off and prolong it. Take them to the bathroom. So those yep. are our tips for you guys. Hey, number one, number two, Number three, number four, number five, and number six, and number seven. Okay, so there are our potty training tips for you. I hope you have a great day. Yeah, and I yeah. hope these help someone. Yeah. Anyone, but we love you guys. We hope you have a great week. We hope you're staying safe and warm from this crazy snow. Yep, and if you're not subscribed, please do that. Do it. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Wow, yeah, so it's kinda, kinda over. <laughs> So I thought I would just answer a few tips. Answer a few tips. Oh, shoot. Okay. I hope you're going to say what I want Seven. you to say. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to bring our own tips in order. So there are our... So there are our... What are you trying to tips? Our hour. Okay. okay. <laughs>